such a time as this. And welcome back to For Such a Time as This, the place where there is no such thing as a silent witness. I would like to encourage you to go to our webpage, to go to our webpage for such a time as this dot today, for such a time as this dot today, not dot com, not dot org, dot today. There, you can always stay up to date with our newest material as Big Brother continues to clamp down. Very good possibility that. Big Brother will show us the door from his platforms. But there, we will always be in touch with you. Okay, scripture of the day, 1 Timothy 4, 7, have nothing to do with irreverent, silly myths. Rather, train yourself for godliness. What does that mean? Partly, verse 8, for while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. There is value in exercise, physical exercise. There is value in being healthy, but there's something more valuable than that, and that is godliness, which will not only give benefit now, but give benefit in eternity, which leads us to our video for today. Politics is now destroying, destroying the pastime sporting events that our country enjoyed for decades. It used to be what united us. Uh, we could put down our politics and go enjoy a good football game, NASCAR, a basketball game. Now, those days, ladies and gentlemen, are over. And you have the NFL playing politics. Look at this. It's playing defense against COVID-19. The NFL released new rules, which will have a big impact on players who are vaccinated and those who aren't. Fox 46 is Carly Gephardt, live in the newsroom. And Carlos, some players say they understand why this is being put into place. Yeah, that's right. And Sam Darnold, the quarterback for the Panthers, is one of those players. He said today that he understands that this is not just an NFL issue, but this is a global issue around the world. COVID-19 still affecting many people. And the COVID-19 protocol that they released today, helping everyone everything kind of transition back to normal. So here is a look at some of the protocols. Vaccinated players no longer required to get tested every day, no longer have to wear a mask at the facility or during team travel. Also no travel restrictions for vaccinated players at all. Protocol, as you can see though, for non-vaccinated players still remains pretty strict. They're not allowed to leave the hotel or interact with anyone outside of the team during team travel. Also, they can't partake in social media or marketing sponsorship activity. So quite a stark contrast contrast and, and what is not allowed and what is allowed for vaccinated and non-vaccinated players. There's, there's, you know, a lot of, you know, people pushing to, you know, get um, the vaccine um, and for good reason. A lot of guys, including myself, we have um, decisions to make with that. But again, I think it's everyone's decision to make. Um, and for me, I'm going to continue to keep that personal. And you just heard Sam Darnold say this is a decision. Nothing's being forced. A lot of the players do have some big decisions to make. But as far as flexibility and freedom are concerned, that's going to be highly dependent upon their vaccination status this season. Did she just say no one's being forced? I, I thought that's what she said. That's not what Sam Darnold said. He said a lot of people's pushing. That's what he said. And, and, and if there's no problem or no issue, why is Sam Donald continue to keep his decision whether or not to be vaccinated private? If it's not an issue, if it's not forced, then why is he not telling us whether or not he's gotten vaccinated? I mean, that, 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 boy, that try to put spin on anything, boy, I tell you. But yes, Christians, many Christians are leery of the vaccine. They're leery. And the NFL has now weighed in. They're going to clamp down as much as they can until they force you, NFL player, to take the shot. We live in a very difficult time in our history.
All I can say, follow your conscience. Whatever proceeds from you that is not from conscience is sin to you. Follow your conscience. Trust God. Such a time as this, 